This house is almost 100 feet long. And you can see Mr. Cody. He's about halfway down. Okay, let me pan back. And over here, you'll see some plants. They look pretty much dead right now, but they're not. And they're actually Korean lilacs. Okay? Been growing these on now for about 10 years, believe it or not. They don't develop a, a trunk very quickly, but uh, they do flower. The flowers are exquisite. Got some coming up on some pines. Here's some pines. These are uh, these are some black pines uh, that we got in. And over the uh, over the fall winter, uh, we had uh, pruned these back a little bit uh, to give them a shape. We wired some of them as well. Uh, we have others. This is not all we have. It's just a kind of like an area we threw some overflow plants into as a type of juniper this is uh this is actually juniper wiltoni and to give you an idea of what you can do with juniper wiltoni let's see if this comes out we wired this one up I'm trying to see if this comes out well but we wired this one up last week to give you a sense of what you can make out of them i think it's a great plant has a nice blue color. Some more Japanese junipers. There's some juniper shimpaku. For you who don't know the difference, you can see the difference in foliage right away. Well, color is one thing, but uh, that's Japanese juniper. That's juniper shimpaku. Now over here, some Japanese maples. Now, maybe, uh, Six, eight months ago, we had cut all these back because uh, initially what we were doing is we had a batch of Japanese maples, which we just grew on and allowing them to grow on uh, actually develops a, a, a trunk on the trees much faster. So they get to a certain point and what we do is we decide to just cut them back and and uh, we, we regrow the tree from that point. And uh, as you can see, many of them have already started to send out new branches, new shoots from everywhere. Uh, I need to remind you, this is winter, so none of them right now have any leaves on. Here's some boxwoods. Those are pretty nice. They're actually very nice. The bigger ones, I love the bigger ones. Here's some more Kingsville. bunch of Kingsville boxwood, some more junipers. They're all different stages. I actually like junipers trained as uprights. And if you can see, these have got a good start. A lot of different styles. Some trident maples. Seiju Elm. A lot of people don't know Seiju Elm is hardy. It is. And here's some of the pines that we worked on. These are a little bit bigger than the other ones you saw. They had a little bit more work done and it was done a little bit sooner as well. But you can see they're all coming back just wonderfully. Uh, so cutting back plants doesn't hurt them. Well, I guess this you could say this looks like a mess. Dawn Redwood. Now these Dawn Redwoods were planted in containers and kind of let go. And if you look, they're very much alive. And you have this big trunk coming out of these little five inch pots. Well, we'll be making bonsai out of those, no problem. Here's maybe what they should look like. Dawn Redwood. Very much alive. Come down here, you see some big old junipers. Now some of these trees are over 30 years old. It's kind of hard to see their trunks right now. 
Now if you go down here to the end, it's like a mixture of things. Some more junipers here. See if I can pull this one up. It's a nice big trunk. I don't think that one's 30 years old, but he still looks good. Now I'm heading back. There's some pines. These are actually Scots pines. We have a whole bunch of pines. And guess what these are? These are Mugo pines. More tridents. A little bit bigger than the ones I showed you earlier. More tridents. There's a weeping cherry. I got a red tag on it so that I can make cuttings off of him. Well, seems to be a lot of junipers in this area. They have some nice big trunks. They can train these on a lot of different bonsai styles. There's a different type of juniper. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I like it a lot. And as you can see, we dead wood this whole section of it over here. It turned out really nice. My plan is to to pot this guy up in the spring. So in the meantime, he's just dormant, waiting. Over here, wisteria. A lot of different wisteria. I have a lot of them in different sizes. Uh, the video may not pick all that up. Uh, but believe it or not, there are some different colored wisteria here. Uh, they are labeled for what they are. Some Hanoki Cypress. Some more junipers. Yeah, it might seem like a lot of junipers, but I'll tell you, they're a real popular plant. I like them in bonsai. You can train junipers in any bonsai style. And they do well. There's some pl plants. I think that's a crab apple, actually. And you see the one next to it, right here? It's actually a blueberry. That was a plant that uh, came in from the wild. So it was, it's a wild blueberry. It's not a, it's not a, uh, a hybrid cultivar, but uh, just something that came in with another plant that I collected over time. Some more juniper of San Jose. So juniper of San Jose are, are nice in their own way. One thing interesting about them is that they grow faster. And when they grow faster, they actually develop bigger trunks and branches in a shorter, shorter period of time. Uh, and I always find that interesting. Uh, they, they grow rather wild looking. However, I always found it easy to to use them in bonsai because if I didn't really like the shape for what I was after, I could always gin and deadwood it, and uh, that always adds to the, the dramatic effect in bonsai. And over here we have some larch, very much alive. They're deciduous trees as well, and uh, they just lost all their foliage. What's interesting, you look at this one, and you see those white patches, it's actually lichens. Very sweet. So that's what you see inside of our little cold frame. We actually display some slabs in case you're interested in slabs. We use slabs for planting trees on, believe it or not. We can drill some holes on that and uh, tie our trees down to the rock, uh, build up a wall that we uh, make using muck, add some soil or plants, and you can actually have a nice little bonsai forest growing on that. There's Mr. Cody. 
coming out the door. Now we're back at the uh, back end of the main greenhouse. So that's our tour for the winter of 2016.